Good evening everyone. I am again here to give the some the basic details of the wireless communication. Myself Deepak Bicholia from the Deakin University and here I am going to give the some basic details of the wireless communication and how these uh, this uh, uh, technology will help you to understand the what is the scenario is going on in the presently. So welcome here at the uh, private tutor. So what is the wireless communication? Before the starting the wireless communication, I am going to give the some basic details of the wired communication. So we have a two kind of the communication. Communication means what? The communication is the transferring of the data. <coughs> we have the two systems. The first one is the transmitter it's called the TX and we have the another system that is called the receiver RX again I'm repeating I have a two system the one is the transmitter and second one is the receiver now how I am communicating with transmitter to receiver to connect this transmitter receiver I'll use a channel a path, a link, channel, path or link. So these all are the synonyms of the communication link. So we can say the path, the channel or the link. If <coughs> my system is wired means it is it is uh, using uh, some physical media physical media means uh, we can you can uh, we can touch it okay just like the first optical fiber copper wire third coaxial cable These are the some examples of the wired media. These are the optical fiber, copper wire and the coaxial cable. <coughs> now, according to the desired application, you can use the uh, <coughs> this media according to your the application. Suppose, if I want to establish the connection between a to a telephone, now I'm talking about the uh, things of the 90s. In the 90s, there were no cell phones were available. So we were using the two, uh, we were using the landline phones. Okay, so we were using the landline phones to communicate. <coughs> Suppose this is my one telephone. Okay. This is my one telephone. This is my another telephone. To communicate these two devices, I was using a one a cable. It was the copper wire cable and the twisted pair. And among this, I was using a server. Sorry, there's a laser space. So there was no server between these. <coughs> so if one party is want to communicate with another party, and suppose he was saying the message signal, hello, how are you? So at that time, the second party was uh, giving the reply, yes, I'm fine, thank you. So what I've, we were doing? We were the transmitting, transmitting the voice signal, okay, voice signal over the <coughs> copper wire.
so but obvious the voice signal also have the form of the energy and uh, for the transmission of this energy i have to convert this uh, signal voice signal uh, into the electrical form so there will be the conversion of the voice voice frequency to the electrical and for the proper communication i required a cable a cable which can accommodate the whole signal so this is the technology we are using in the wired channel it has as we all know all know every coin has its two part so also this technology had the its advantages and the disadvantages the basic advantages was that the installation was the very easy <coughs> installation of the transmitter and receiver with the server was very easy second one <coughs> that time the technology was not in the boom the researchers were also planning to uh, develop uh, some proper system but it has a lot of the drawbacks the one of the most important drawback was that it consumed a lot of the financials expects because to communicate one device to another it will require to connect the both devices by by the mean of the wires so these thing will overcome by the matter that is called the switching generally we were using the circuit switching method what is the was the uh, circuit switching method in the circuit switching <coughs> suppose i have a uh, three devices at the transmitter and three devices at the receiver Alex There is a one method one way the first method each device is connected another via single wired So if is a b c and it is the a dash b dash and c dash if i want to communicate with the a dash so i will require a single wire if a is want to communicate with the b dash so it will again require a single wire and if a is communicating with the c dash it will again require a single wire same thing will happen to the b and c so this is the general method of the connections but tell me see this diagram and tell me the answer is that was the efficient method for the communication so answer is that no because it enhances the system complexity if the line is break up suppose the line is break up at this point so a will not communicate to the a dash because the whole line is the break up so what i'll need now i need the supplements if the one path is not working so another route is may be available for the communication so i reduced and uh, changed this system by using the 
circuits and the switches. So now I have the sum a uh, switching method which works on the relay. This was the circuit switching method works on the relay method where we were using a uh, some <coughs> circuits to save the uh, to uh, transmit the data from the transmitter to the receiver it had the advantages over the previous system what was that so basically it reduces the complexity of the system the cost of the system and the uses of the system but obviously if the wired were less so it reduces the cost because now i am using only the uh, um, uh, some mean which are communicating the both devices a transmitter and receiver part so can say uh, this uh, system is more reliable more efficient but also uh, the same thing i am repeating every system has its own advantages and the disadvantages <coughs> so if the data is standing from the uh, analog to analog so it were using the circuit method but as the digital scenario were uh, coming in the past days so it required to change the switching methods too there were the mandatory requirement of the communicating the system from the analog to digital communication because all the system were developed and started to develop in the digital the signals were sending not in the form of the sinusoid it was it 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 is now in the form of the ones and the zeros in the form of the bits so this is the scenario <coughs> So generally the voice uh, communication, I am taking the example of the voice communication. Voice communication system, we are working on this technology where we are having a transmitter and a receiver and I was requiring uh, some uh, channel to communicate a transmitter and receiver. This was the link. And this was maybe the copper wire, twisted pair cables, and the optical fiber. Now, the the thing is that the thing is that what happening if the system is the wireless? If the system is the wireless, maybe this is device A and this is device B. And now there is a no link between, no physical link is, link is available for the communication from A to B or B to A. This is called the pure wireless system. In the pure wireless system, there is a no physical media between the transmitter to receiver directly but it have a, a physical link between server to server please be carefully listen my words what I am saying there is a no physical links are available from transmitter A to B but there may be or can be the links are available from a server to server wirelessly So I'm taking the example of the mobile phone. <coughs> uh, now in the current scenario, in the digital world and in the digital uh, India and everywhere, so now every person are using the mobile phone. 
with the help of this mobile phone we can uh, communicate to each other we can send the voice data we can send the text data we can use the internet we can access the uh, google we can access the various application so how how i am uh, using this this uh, this technology now now it is a very mandatory thing now system is completely wireless nothing will be the uh, available uh, physically the first of all i have to I have uh, some system which can work on the software application as well as on the hardware application. If I'm talking about the 90s, there was no cell phone was available. Okay, there was no cell phone was available. Uh, but after the uh, 90s, uh, the some Reliance were introduced a cell phone, a CDMA cell phone in India. I'm still remembering the things when I was in a 9th standard. So I had my other cell phone. I had my other personal cell phone. This is my other personal experience I am sharing to you guys. So at that time, there was the costing of the incoming and the outgoing calls. So we have to pay uh, around the 7 rupees for the uh, outgoing and the 3 rupees per minute for the incoming. It was so costly services. Then to the people were enjoying. And before that, the pager was also introduced. It was sent uh, and received the text messages. But it's only giving uh, the some uh, limited uh, uh, features to the users. And this was the only the voice calling. Text messages up to the few characters. And the uh, uh, small internet services of the playing games and the listening music but this was the time of the i'm talking about the uh, 1999 or the 2000 approximately but in year 2019 we are accessing up to the fourth g i'm using the fourth generation technology now the small child are also used to to listen music on the youtube he is enjoying the games internally so now the how the things are changes the these things are changes from one generation to the fourth generation these are the generation mobile generation technology we are introducing in my the letters uh, lectures i will explain the each generation one by one and what the facilities they were using and what the facility they were they were giving to the users right now i am we are using the 4g but not exactly the 4g because the practical approach is the uh, quite different on the uh, paperwork parameters or which is established on the paper the thing is researched on the laboratories so <clears throat> in the previous time they were using only the few characteristics and the few, uh, 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 limited features so, but nowadays we are using the high speed internet now calling the person is not only the uh, uh, services given by the uh, service providers as well as they are connecting the people globally i'm i will uh, right now i'm living in the country so i can communicate my the friends who are living the abroad where easily I can uh, communicate uh, them by using my the uh, WhatsApp video calling and the Facebook video calling and the many more applications av available. So the thing is that 
the in the present scenario the multimedia messaging texting and the uses of the internets are the very easy and this is happening because of the improvement of the wireless system still our researchers are working on the uh, development of the internet speed as the nanotechnology are uh, using in the current world the the comp the size of the cell phones are very compact right now the cell phones are very slick or can say it is a mini computer because with the help of this mobile phone i can access the each and everything i can listen the music by it i can uh, see the uh, i can capture the my videos i can uh, text to my friends i can access the uh, various uh, application so this is the advantages so uh, i am again uh, coming on my topic so for the communicating device a to b wirelessly i required uh, some very effective system which can sense the signals in the radio frequencies now my dear friends i am telling the one word that is the radio frequencies radio frequencies which is capturing by this mobile phone with the help of the microstrip antenna and the uh, radio frequency which is generated by this mobile phone for the transmission from this device to do my device from uh, which is holding by my friend so this is the rf signal is transmitting by this a device and the rf signal is received by uh, this device b to hold the uh, and to generate or to capture the signal we required some base station okay so uh this is the system which is using for the mobile communication we are two system having the radio frequency for the transmission so uh excuse me for the interruption so now i am coming on the next video to because this is the very huge topic and not a single lecture is uh, efficient to discuss on in my next lecture i will cover the whole the topic thank you guys